a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to In the Greenhouse with Orchid Supply Store. If you've never been here before, certainly glad you joined us. If you have been here before, thanks for returning. My name is Ken, and I will be your tour guide today. And what we're going to do today is a few things. Uh, first, I'm going to take you on a tour of the greenhouse. We haven't done this in a while. Haven't really had anything great to show you. A uh, lot of green leaves, uh, not a lot in bloom, never do. So that's why I don't do the tour too often, uh, simply because all I have is non-blooming orchids. Uh, I do have a few that's in bloom this time. Uh, you saw me unbox the dendrobiums, so I still have those. And then I've got a surprise one here and there that they decided they wanted to bloom. So let me get this camera and we'll turn it around and we'll take a trip through the greenhouse. As you may know, I bought a new camera recently and it's it's almost too good because it picks up the sound so easily so all i've been able to hear is the fans blowing in the greenhouse but after three different attempts i finally got a microphone and i'm hoping everything is going to work out well okay so we start here and as you see, this is the few air plants that I have. And coming on down, I'm, I'm not going to stop on every one of them because you know, you're going to see these on the site. I finally got pictures taken of everything, and I'm going to get them out. But some of the smaller ones have grown to be larger ones, and the larger ones have grown even bigger. So back up here, because I have to go around this spider plant. And you've seen the spider plants before. They're doing very, very good. And it's got babies yeah, here and there. And we go back to the orchids. And we come down the line. This is everything that I have on my upper shelf of the potted side. So this would be the Catleas, the VLCs, the LCs, you know, things like that. Another spider plant. This one has multiple babies just all over the place. And a third one there. And it's the same. So if I can get in here to the back of them. And you can see what's left there Whoop, caught up on a spider plant it just reached out and grabbed me the one thing I haven't shown recently is the orchids that I have mounted and when you don't look at these every day you come back and see them and and you say good gracious what's going on with these things they're they're going crazy and a lot of these are you know roots coming out the burlap that I put on yeah growing tall look at the vanda here in the back you know it's got roots way down to here So all of these are doing extremely well. Sorry about the camera. Okay, then we come over on the end wall. Big vanda up here, and you can see its roots come way down here. One right here. This dendrobium. 
this is the crazy dendrobium that I have. It grows up, it went to the side, it grows down, and this is the big orchid that I had with a huge bloom on it, and you can see the roots going down almost into the fan. The ones I have in the shell, and mounted on a swing, shell here, and then a small spider plant mounted as well. Swinging around here to the bottom shelf, we'll take a slow walk up to everything that's on the bottom shelf. And as you can see, I'm pretty full. Don't have any bare spots. Just can't get many more in here. And then as I look around, I've got one that's in bud right there. And this one is blooming. We don't have that happen too often because when someone buys one, I always select the one that's either in bloom or very close to blooming. So that's why I don't have many orchids at all that's in bloom or in spike. And I have one more here. Let's see if we can get a shot of the front of it. And swinging around to my second shelf. Spider plant going crazy there. That's that's just the babies. We'll get the, the parent as we come back. Dendrobiums on the bottom. They reckon here on the bottom. Coming up to the top. Again, just a lot of green. And this is my oldest orchid. And it is just starting to open. This particular orchid is not for sale. This is mine. I've had it now six years, I think. And it blooms every year religiously without fail. As a matter of fact, this is the second blooming this year. So it's, it's my pride and joy. Okay, more here. Here are the dendrobiums that were in bloom and you saw me take them out of the box got some lady slippers here that should be putting on spikes very soon some more spider plants and this is that crazy wandering plant uh, it just goes everywhere. I do believe it would live in a cave if you allowed it to. Okay, coming around to the other side of the greenhouse. We have, all, all of this here is uh, bromelade. So, I don't know if they'll ever bloom. These are um, pups off of the master plant that I had back in the winter of last year. Still have a caladium that refuses to die. All of my philonopsis started to say uh, uh, philodendron again. I don't know why I always get my tongue tied on that. Got a couple of andas here in baskets. 
coming on down the line with the Philanopsis. So I'll see one right there that's in a, got a crazy spike on it, so it's going to do something soon. Got another one here with spikes. And swinging down to the bottom. I have Vandas laying here that I have not got around to hanging them yet. These are some of the new ones yeah, that I've had. I, I've just had so many, I uh, just can't seem to get everything done. And then a couple of ferns in the baskets. Swinging over to this side, we have my hanging Vandas. And you've seen these before. Way in the back, if you can see it there, I have staghorn ferns. I have like uh, 10 potted back there. And here is my rabbit foot fern. This also is my plant, not for sale. It's the same age as my sugar baby. My one orchid that I would say is never for sale. And more and more vandas all the way to the end. Up here to the back and all the way down. Okay, on the bottom, I generally don't show these, but I will this time. I have some hosta. These are a giant hosta. They get quite large. In the back, I have just some regular size hosta. Here in the front, I have lyropi. Some people call it lyrope. I've always called it lyropi. I'm not sure which is the correct one. Oh, I wanted to show you the roots on this. I, I, I get smacked in the face every time I go back there. So this is one of the, the vandas, you know, with the beautiful roots. And hostas all the way in the back behind those roots. And lyropi on the bottom. Now I showed you the vanda that I still have laying that I haven't got around to hanging yet. Well, guess what I got today? I got another shipment of orchids. Uh, I only got 48 in today. I got 24 Vanda and 24 of the Catlea type. Again, just have them laying here. I've got to get them hung. This is 24 different Vandas. And I was looking through the names on them, and I do believe that most of these are brand new, never had them before. And let me swing around to this side. And this is the Catleas, 24 of these. And most of these are new ones that I have not had before. So I will get these uh, set up, ready for the shelf, take pictures of them, and get them displayed as well. Okay, let me get back over and set the camera up on the stand, and we're going to do something else. Okay, back at the desk. Now, the one thing I didn't show, and I'm not going to show it today, is the propagation uh, box. Uh, they're not really ready to show. I mean, the, pretty much nothing has happened yet. I think it takes about a month you know, before you, you really can see anything. Uh, I am watering them uh, as often as you should. I uh, checked on them this morning and nothing yet, so that's why they're not going to be in the video. But we're going to do something just a little bit different. Several months ago, maybe maybe sometime last year, I don't know exactly when it was, I ordered 
some seed. Now, when I ordered it, I saw the picture of the, the plant. It, I think it looked something like an orchid, but I have long since lost that. So I really have no clue what these are, but I'm going to plant them and together we will see if they will grow and if they do we'll watch them grow and see what they look like i mean maybe it's going to be a beautiful plant I, I honestly don't remember have you ever done that you order something because it just looks beautiful and you get it you set it aside and if you're like me you put it in a safe place and that safe place is never to be found again. But these were on my desk and I saw them this morning and I said, okay, I'm gonna do something with it. So I've got this packet of seed and I'm going to plant them. Now, I'm going to plant just a little different. Okay, Let's see if I can get this open. I bought some, um, little bags. I, I, I don't know what you would call it. It is like a mesh bag. Probably got them in, uh, from uh, uh, one of the, the people I deal with in China. I'm not sure. But this is what they look like. It's just a little mesh bag. It's about two inches by four inches. Get some dirt. This, I'll, I'll give show you a picture of what this is. This is one of our potting soils, right straight out of the bag, not mixed anything. I just, just poured it straight out of the bag. And what you do is you put your mixture in your mesh bag. Gotta pack it in kind of tight. and I can probably spill it. I'll do another one here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just taking this mesh bag and, and you can see it's it's very, very thin. Maybe you can see my fingers through it. I'm not sure if you can or not, but it's designed so your plant roots will grow right through this little bag. And then when you get ready to repot it into a pot or into the ground or wherever all you do is take this little bag which will hold all of the dirt you know, together and you just drop that down into your your pot okay so I've got these two and I'm gonna take two seed this is the way I've always planted things, even in my garden. If you want one plant, plant two seeds. That way, hopefully one will come up. Uh, if they both come up, then you just you know, carefully separate them. If only one comes up, then you've got one. If both of them come up and one looks better than the other, then you just pop the one that's not very strong and you still have a strong plant. Okay, so take this one, one seed, two seed. Now, since I don't really know what this is, I'm not sure how deep you're supposed to plant the seed. So I'm just going to just barely cover it, and hopefully that will be good enough. There's two of them. Now, I've have already done others. One seed, two seed. And I'm going to do a total of 10 of these. But I also have another plant that we're going to do. This one is the Gabara Daisy. I love these things. 
and if these do well this will be a house plant for either late winter or early spring. Okay, let's see what we have here. Very few seeds. And I think I paid about $5 for a package and there's probably 10 seed there so they're expensive too uh, I'm not going to put the cabarrus there I'm going to put them in something else and I'll show you that also that's where we're going to put these pots so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and plant all of my mystery seed and you don't need to see me you know, put one seed, two seed in these things. So I'm going to plant all of my mystery seed. When I get those, then we will adjourn to a different place in the greenhouse. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with these little mesh bags, as well as what I'm, how I'm going to plant the daisies. So I'll be back. Okay, so what I'm doing is putting my little bags down in this holder. And when I finish, I'll back up and give you a better look at this. I put three there, so I'm going to change this one and put two. There we go. Okay. And then the Gabera daisies, I'm going to carefully plant one seed into the little pouch. So that's four. It's actually five, six. It's actually six across by six down. So there's 36 compartments. But I put this on one of my racks that's not that wide. Okay, so that was red. And then I'm going to put some yellow. Carefully open the package. as an inner envelope, which I'm having trouble, uh -oh, there it is, so we'll pull that open, and one, Two, three, and four. Now I have two more compartments here, which I am going to fill. Be back in one second. We'll just take some of my potting mix.
sealed it up. The compartment packing it down a little bit so that it'll be full. Now, see if I can get two more seed out of this. There's one. And two. Okay, so I have eight red, six yellow, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21 of the mystery seed. And we will watch this and see how it does. So hang on one minute and I'll be back. Okay, here's what this thing looks like. Thirty-six compartments. I'm only using twenty-four of them. This would be perfect for strawberries. You, know, you could hang it on a fence and uh, somewhere like that. Absolutely perfect for strawberries or uh, uh, some some plant that doesn't get extremely large. Okay, we've done a few different things today. We took a stroll through the greenhouse so that you could see uh, what I currently have, uh, the new things that I'm still working on. Uh, I'm just getting old and lazy. You know, I, I just can't uh, get everything out in one day like I used to, but it's coming. Uh, uh, it, just check the site and, and you'll see a lot of new things are going to be there. I'm uh, going to get the, the bird houses, the new bird houses. They're coming out also. And uh, who knows? I might add something else you know, next week. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, again, we took a walk through the greenhouse. I showed you the brand new orchids just, just laying you know, that I got in today. 48 total, 24 Vanda, 24 Cadleyas. Uh, we planted mystery seed in a, a new little mesh bag. We planted the daisies in the vertical hanging uh, pots. I mean, I'm not sure what you would call it. And we'll check on that uh, at least once a week, uh, maybe more often, to see, see how they're doing, uh, see if the seeds germinate, and, and see how they grow. We haven't started another giveaway yet uh, because I don't really know what to give away this time. So I'm going to ask you, give me a comment, tell me what you would really like to see as the giveaway in our next giveaway contest. And remember, you have to subscribe, you have to leave a comment, and you don't have to, but I'm asking, give me a thumbs up. That way I know you enjoy what we're doing. And we will do this again. So, you come back now. See you.